I thought I would introduce y'all. I post little videos on my Facebook of my squirrels. Um, my squirrel is named Charlie. They're gathering at the door because they're ready to be fed. And um, Charlie will come up to me. And then my husband, squirrel uh, Fuzzy, um, yeah, Fuzzy, uh, he's a little apprehensive. So yesterday, as you can tell, I just came outside and they're waiting on me. I'm trying to find my stool where I can sit down because he don't like it when I stand. But let me go ahead and try it. Here you go, buddy. Here you go. There you go. There's your bread. Come get it. There you go. Now he'll go up a tree and eat it. Fuzzy. 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 Fuzzy, uh, I mean Fluffy, won't come up here and get it. Yesterday when I came out here, when I fed them, next thing I know, five more squirrels done came up. Come on and eat. There he is. There's Charlie. And up the tree he'll go. Well, oh, there they come. There they come. Right there. Here they come. Here you go, buddy. I'll throw yours out here. Here, I'll back up. You're not used to me. Oh, I see if you can see right up there the woodpecker holes. <laughs> Yesterday, when I was calling Charlie, the little woodpeckers was peeking out. Yeah, I'm crazy. Who cares? I love feeding the birds and the squirrels. Here you go. See, Charlie really isn't that scared of me. Hi, everybody. Just an update. I'm on the mend. Um, today, I take my last dose of antibiotics. I just took my Mucinex. I've been getting over bronchitis. So I say the medicines are finally kicking in. But, um... Feeling better, sleeping a whole lot. Uh, that's not me. I don't sleep a lot because um, I suffer from insomnia. And even if I take a nap during the day, I don't sleep at night. I've been napping during the day and sleeping all night long. I don't even get up in the middle of the night till I go to the bathroom. I, I know TMI, but uh. I still feel a little tired. I think it's from all the sleep. But I'm um, starting to get up and move around. See, feeling better. But, um, so yeah. And uh, I know a lot may think I'm crazy coming out here talking to the squirrels, but. I've been doing that ever since we've lived here for nearly 20 years. And um, I love feeding them, love watching them play. You know, as you can see, there's no car in the driveway. I don't have a car. Uh, we just have one car. My husband has a car my son has a car. Uh, my husband did have a motorcycle that, and then that way I could have the van, but it got stolen. So, anyway, that's fine. I don't really like to drive that much anyway. I have anxiety about it. So, I stay at home a lot. I work, make my candles. But since I've been sick, a lot of people 
everybody has been patient with wanting their candles in the store, wanting them. They've all known that I've been sick, and they've been very patient and understanding about it. So today, this afternoon, when my husband gets home, we're going to go and where I can get the fragrance oil and start back to work. So I'm glad I'm starting to feel better. Just the cough sometimes is horrible. But I guess that's to be expected with bronchitis. The, I had a 31 party and everybody's stuff got sent here. So I called the representative and told them. So it's packed up till I, she said when I get ready and feel like it, she'll come and we'll sort out everybody's stuff. There's my fan. I have to have a fan to sleep with. I don't care if it's minus 30 degrees outside, there will be a fan. I have to have one. When I was uh, pregnant with my son and on total bed rest, I lost my first baby. It was a girl. Her name was Megan. Um, so when I got pregnant with my son, I, my body started trying to lose him, so I was on total total bed rest and um, had a home monitoring system and a nurse that called me twice a day and I would send the contractions but anyway I was on medications to help me not to lose him and it would make my heart your heart just beat real fast and I stayed hot all the time and it was in uh, my son was born at the end of January and even in December I was staying at my grandmother's house. I would have to get up and cut the heat off, open the doors, put a fan in front of the door just to blow on me. It was so hot. And um, my husband would tell everybody he'd wake up with icicles hanging out of his nose. <laughs> but there's my son when he was six weeks old, his six weeks old picture. And there's my baby girl, her newborn picture. I know it's dark, you can't see. I don't know if that made it better. There's my son, six weeks old picture. There's my daughter, newborn picture. There's my wedding picture. <laughs> and I even made up my bed today. Wanted to show y'all what my husband got me Sunday. He, I said he thought it might make me feel better. He knows I like stuff like this. But then when I told him, I says, uh, Richard, you don't know this, but every time I would see this in the store, and actually this was in Aldi, I would walk by it, put my hand on the box, and just say, one day I claim you to be mine. And when I told him that story, he, he got teary-eyed and started crying. And, um, but anyway... You know, we live on a tight budget. I'm not one of these that asks for a lot of stuff, and I don't demand a lot of stuff. But, um, so anything that I get, it's special to me, and I take good care of it. So tonight for dinner, for supper, I'm going to use it for the first time. I'm probably going to roast some potatoes, onions, and carrots to go with our pork tenderloin, but roast it in the oven. But I love it. Um, Look, I'm going to put him on camera. Watch. It'll make him mad. It looks like he's been shopping. He went and spent the night with some friends last night. Hey, Alex. Hey. Did you have a good time? Mm -hmm. Yay. You ready for your big test tonight at school? Practice test. You ready for it? Sure. Think you're going to pass it? Sure. I know you will. I have faith in you. Where's Mommy's kiss and hug? Give me a minute. <laughs> I thought I'd show y'all my tiny little craft and storage room. See how tiny it is? But I've been kind of cleaning up in here and cleaning on it. This is my storage for my equipment, for my candles. Look, here's my little Fruit Loop candles I've been making for an order. 
and it smells just like you've opened the box of Fruit Loops. Here's my vanity. Y'all see me? Hey. That my mama gave to me. I love it. It's cluttered right now. It's where I fix my hair and put on my makeup. This is the printer slash storage slash a lot of my husband's stuff that we haven't cleaned up. Here's all my wax melts. Here's all leftover wax. So yeah, it's tiny, but that's why I'm probably going to move to the basement before long when we get it cleaned out. But yeah, yeah. Yay, I'm getting out of the house. Going to the warehouse to pick up some fragrance oils for some orders of candles I need to do. So it's a nice, pretty, sunny day. Say hey, Ricky. Hey, Ricky. <laughs> so we've got to go by there. We've got to go by Kroger because I'm out of my tea. Uh, am I, I have a coupon. I do have a coupon for it. And don't hardly buy nothing unless I have a coupon. But my daughter's begging because we keep forgetting to get her some pizza rolls. So we gotta remember to get her some pizza rolls, which I have to admit, I love pizza rolls too. So, yes. So I'm gonna get off here and enjoy the ride. And the fact I feel good enough to be out. Yay. In my uh, baking pan right here, I just took some beef broth and uh, seasoned it up real good with some uh, garlic and Worcestershire. And of course, parsley, salt and pepper, a little bit of hot sauce. And I'm just going to take my potatoes. Toss them around. I'm going to cover this with foil. My oven's ready. I'm going to cover this with foil and put them in the oven and let them bake at 400 degrees for about an hour. I'll check them halfway through and probably stir them up. If I had, I thought I had some carrots and stuff, but evidently my husband ate them up in his lunch, which is fine. No problem. This will be just as good. I could throw an onion in there too if I wanted to. I'm trying to think. I think I am. I think I'm going to cut up an onion and put in there real quick. So just cut up some thick onion pieces. Stir that up. And just cover this up with some foil and let it bake. I think it'll be good. I just got up from a 30 minute nap. After we got back from the store and all, I just couldn't hold my eyes open no more. It was nice and cool in the living room. After being so hot in our van, our air went out. So, and this is just not like me to take naps and all. Anyway, let me throw that in the oven. Okay, y'all, I pray for everyone and everyone around and for the lady that lost her life. I just got a uh, police report. Uh, we get 911 alerts sent to our phone of our area. And we knew that the high school around us was on lockdown. And at the time, me and my husband was right in the area. Remember, we was on our way to get fragrance oil. Anyway, he shot his wife and killed her. And he was in our area uh, on the loose. He is armed and dangerous. So they're telling everyone to lock up, be on the lookout. Uh, he's probably not in this area no more, but 
I pray for the woman who lost her life and for her family for comfort. And I pray that they catch that man and that he don't hurt nobody else. That is so, so sad. So sad. And hubby just got done cutting the grass, didn't he? Now we're relaxing on the porch, got our ceiling fan going. I do too, it's my favorite. Why supper's cooking. You know what, Rich? You can just build me a bed out here. Got me a ceiling fan going. I can just... Suspended from yes, get one of them beds that you see on Facebook, suspended. Yeah, and I'll just move out here. Y'all hear me swinging? My swing. I love it. It's just so cool out here. Even on the hottest of days. We got that big old shade tree right there. Ceiling fan going. Just can't sit over there because the hot air that's blowing from the back of the air. We just chillaxing on our porch. Here are my potatoes an hour and a half later. I had to cut my oven up to 425. I've gotten a hold of some potatoes that even if you boil them, they just don't want to get all the way uh, tender. It's weird. But anyway, these taste good. I've done tried them. They got a little kick to them. If you got carrots and stuff, throw them in there. So let me call my family to dinner. Uh, I just want to thank everyone for all the well wishes, the texts, the messages and all. I am feeling a whole lot better. Uh, I want to thank everyone too for my very first vlog that I did. The uh, nice comments that you've all sent. So I thought I'd give it a try again. So I want to thanks to all my subscribers, all my new subscribers and if you like this video I uh, please hit like and leave me a comment. I love hearing from everyone. So, it's time to eat.